everybody, what's up? My name is Johanna and welcome to my YouTube channel. So the reason I'm making my channel is just because I've always wanted to. I think it's creative, I think it's fun. Um, and I also think that I love to watch YouTube, so why not make a YouTube channel? And on my channel, I hope to make videos that I actually enjoy to watch. So vlogs, actually vlogs are my favorite thing to watch. Um, day in my life, tutorials, vacation vlogs, day week in my life. So yeah, hopefully this is the place you'll find some of that. <laughs> People have told me several times that I should start a YouTube channel, so I'm gonna give it a try. So, enough with that, and I'm gonna answer a few questions so you can get to know me a little bit more. One, what is my middle name? My middle name is Grace. What is my favorite food? You know me, I'm not a picky eater, so I would say my favorite food is sushi, without a doubt. How many siblings do I have? I have one sibling, her name is Morgan. She's a little bit older than I am and she lives in Los Angeles, California. A little bit more exciting than me, but oh well. Favorite drink? My favorite drink. Non-alcoholic would be coffee, for sure. You'll get to know that real quick. Coffee, and I think alcoholic would be a mojito. I don't drink often, but when I do, it's a mojito. Favorite TV show? I don't really have a favorite. I am a sucker for reality TV, so I <laughs> I keep up with the Kardashians. Um, and I like morning shows, like Good Morning America, Wendy Williams. I watch every episode of Wendy Williams. Um, I think that's about it. Keeping up though, keeping up. How tall are you? I am 5'3". Cats or dogs? Without a doubt, hands down, dogs. I cannot, cats are cute, but they have no personality. <laughs> they have no personality. So I would say without a doubt, dogs. Any dog, big, small, in between, furry, not furry, dog. Are you or have you gone to college? Yes, I'm in college. I am a rising senior at the University of North Carolina in Charlotte. Who are my favorite YouTubers? I have so many that I watch. Um, I watch Maggie McDonald, Danielle Car Caroline, Carolyn, Danielle Carolyn, Gretchen, I can't think of her last name. She lives in Boston. Mallory Irvin from Nashville, Alex, I almost said Alex Garcia. It's not Alex Garcia. It's Alex Garcia. Alex. She's from Michigan. What is my go-to fast food order? I don't eat fast food a ton, but if I do, it's some form of chicken, like a chicken nugget, chicken sandwich. Chicken. Yeah, just chicken. I don't. Yeah, chicken. What is my most memorable vacation memory? Okay. Hmm. Okay, I think without a doubt, it was me and my friend Deb. You'll see her on my channel a lot, but me and Deb went to New York City with our moms, and one morning we just woke up and we were like, we are gonna go and explore the city from sunrise to sundown, sunset. So we go, we watch, we go to Times Square and we watch Good Morning America. We go from Good Morning America. We heard, well, we heard that Nicki Minaj was going to be performing in Central Park. Me and her had no idea of how to get from Times Square to Central Park, but we were just going. We picked a direction and we were like, we're gonna go. We met up with these two other girls that were doing the same thing we were. They were from Queens, New York, and we were from North Carolina, so they, they loved our accents. They thought they were like, y'all listen to Nicki Minaj? I was like, yeah, we know every word to almost every song. <laughs> so we're running, we're running, running. We finally, finally get to Central Park. And Central Park is huge if you've never been to New York City. And so we're just going over hills, jumping fences, finally, finally just going. Um, and like I said, this is, by now, it's probably 8 o'clock in the morning. And we... Out far in the distance, we see a little purple light that was on the corner of the stage. And we're like, jackpot, we've hit it. So we go and we get up there and these 
girls were standing outside and they were kind of crying. They were like, if you don't have a ticket, like you can't get in. And I was like, you haven't met me yet. You have not, <laughs> you don't know. Okay. So I'm like, Deb, follow me, follow me. Let's go. Me and the, and then the other two girls that we walked there with were like, we go up to the front and they're like, hey, can we see your ticket? And I'm like, we don't have a ticket. We came all the way here from North Carolina. Like I did this big sob story and they were like, oh, just go on, just go on. <laughs> and I turn around. Those girls that couldn't get in, they looked at us like we were like actual idiots. Like how, like what did you do to get in? We go in and we're like, yes! It's pe crowds of people everywhere. There's a stage and I think they had like 50 cent or something on stage or like um, interviewing him for some reason, I, I'm not sure. But we get there and we were living our best life. Like we were, it was just the most random, spontaneous, like I'm not like that. I am a planner. I have every inch of my life planned out. Like not every inch, but I like as much as I can plan, I will plan. So we, we hear a few songs, we hear a few songs and then um, finally she comes out. And I don't know if anyone has been to like a live taping of, live taping of anything, but they're, they're like, you need to clap. And so you're like, you clap and they start clapping. They're like, we need you to go clap again. Okay, three, two, one. And they have you clapping so much. I'm like, bring Nikki out. So finally she comes out and she does like super bass and itty bitty piggy. That's like one of her oldest songs. Listen, I'm the baddest in the school, the baddest in the game. Excuse me, honey, but nobody's in my lane. Yeah. So, and then we go from there and we walk and walk and walk and walk and walk. And then we go to the 9-11 Memorial. I mean, we spent whole day and granted, we left our moms in the hotel room in Times Square. Our phones died around 11 a.m. If you ever go to New York, your phone will not last or mine never did, does. And yeah, we just like explored. We ate the most random food. We, like somehow we ended up in, I think, I don't know. We just, we did whatever we wanted that day. And we finally met back up with our parents. I, I don't remember the end of the day, but the beginning of that day, we like, walked our feet. We just walked and walked and walked. So that was my most memorable vacation moment. That was a lot, but yeah. What is my favorite Netflix show? I hate to say, but I really don't watch Netflix. <laughs> I really don't watch Netflix. Like I said, I'm more of a reality TV junkie, but I was at one point really into Scandal, really into scandal and then I just stopped I just stopped watching it all together like I don't one day I just like I'm not gonna watch it and then I never watched it again uh, but I've watched one episode of Queer Eye and I really like that it's really funny what is your coffee order I never really stay with the same thing I've come well I've come to find that if you pick what roast you like and I like blonde roast and then add your milk and then add your pumps instead of going in there and saying I want a vanilla latte or like already a pre-made drink. I like to kind of build my own and it's actually cheaper for the most part if you go in there and like add it separately. So normally I get blonde roast with either coconut milk or soy milk. Lately almond milk has been killing my stomach so no almond milk for me. And then I'll either get like the sugar-free cinnamon dolce pumps or I'll get sugar-free vanilla. But I will have to confess, when pumpkin spice comes, pumpkin spice stays. I, that's my tried and true. I will never back down. If they are serving pumpkin spice, I will always get pumpkin spice. Yeah. Who is your celebrity crush? I don't know. I think Zac Afron's pretty cute. My celebrity crush. Gibson, if you're watching, I'm sorry. But I really don't know. I think Zac Afron. It used to be Justin Bieber, but then he kind of just let himself go. He kind of looks like a caveman-ish. And I just don't get down with the caveman. It's really not, I don't know. What are your pet peeves? <laughs> My pet peeve is hearing someone chew. I don't care if it's a piece of gum. I don't care if it is the most divine. I just don't want to hear you chew. That drives me insane. But I know you can't help it. I know people hear me chew, but I don't want to hear you chew. <laughs> what 
what is your favorite color? That kind of changes. Um, I would say I like black, but I like hot pink too. Or actually any shade of pink. I think pink. What social media are you addicted to? It kind of depends. I'm addicted. I don't have a Twitter. Twitter got on my nerves a long time ago. So I just deleted it. I don't have a Twitter. Instagram. I do the most for the gram. Like I go above and beyond for Instagram. Above and beyond for Instagram. <laughs> my friends were either eating, shopping,